clear skies and welcome. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the newest generation Ioptron CEM40 center balanced equatorial mount. The Ioptron CEM40 sits in the middle of the CEM lineup. They have the CEM26, which I also did a video on, the CEM40, the CEM70, and then also the CEM120. Those are the current four models that you can get, and the CEM40 sits right in the middle. The 40 designates the weight capacity. This is a 40 pound weight capacity mount, not including the counterweights. It comes uh, with a full height field tripod. This is the 1.75 uh, Light Rock tripod that uh, you can purchase in a package. This particular model also has the integrated iPolar electronic polar alignment scope uh, installed in it. As you can see, we've got uh, my 6-inch Explorer Scientific Comet Hunter. This is a uh, Mac Newtonian. This is what I usually use to uh, do some imaging with, as it has just enough focal length to really pull in those uh, galaxies and, and such. But taking a quick look here at the CEM40 on the side here, you'll notice uh, you have your azimuth adjustments right up here up front. Same as the CEM26, you've got a bubble level there. This is your uh, altitude adjustment knob. What you do is uh, you loosen these up a little bit, and then you can move this up and down, and then you tighten these down when you're finished. If you're uh, latitude 0 to 35, you need to move this. It comes shipped with uh, these pegs and this screw all the way down on the bottom setting. Because I'm 40 degrees north, I did have to move them up, so you have enough uh, wiggle room right here and your dial to see your uh, altitude is right there on the side in that little window. The same type of bolts right here that mount the CEM26 are the same design for the CEM40, so you do get an included Allen wrench in the mount. I'll show you in a little bit. You do have the hand controller plug on this side. You have the uh, Alti or, uh, sorry, the uh, declination clutch right here. Same type little uh, switch lock back and forth. You loosen that, the telescope will uh, swing up here. Up here at the top, you do have a Vixen and a Lossamandi style dovetail right here. This is your guiding port for your ST4. And then it, this one particularly does not have the eye guider in it, only because I use uh, ZWO kit and everything for uh, utilizing a guide camera. But what you can do, Ioptron states, is that if you have a guide camera or a guide scope that will fit in there, you can run the cables out through the little back hole there, and then you do have a spot you could put your guide camera to integrate it into the mount, or you can buy the eye guider separately after the fact and place it in there. So just looking on the side, you do have an Ioptron logo on there. That's pretty much it for this side of the uh, optical, or this side of the uh, equatorial mount. On the front end, you do have this honking counterweight. I mean, this is a uh, one inch, a uh, little over one inch actually, an inch and an eighth diameter counterweight shaft. It threads into here, unlike the CEM26 that has uh, two knobs here. This one just threads right in like a traditional counterweight. And then this one, this has a nice metal cap here on the end. This is for the eye polar, which is right there, the integrated electronic polar scope. So, real nice that Ioptron gives you an all-metal uh, interface uh, for, the, uh, for the mount. This is your RA clutch. You loosen that. The mount will swing back and forth. And it is a beauty to, to swing. I mean, look at how smooth it moves. It has absolutely no friction in the mount as it swings. It's just so butter smooth and that's one of ioptron's greatest things that they have the uh one of really the nicest uh clutch mechanisms in the industry right now with these little switchblade uh it's either on or it's off there is no in between so you don't have to torque them down like you do on some other mounts on this side you do have an eye port this is for the included a GPS accessory that they do give you. Works pretty fast. Uh, plug it in, turn the mount on, and it uh, takes a GPS fix. Usually within about 15, 20 seconds, you've got a fix. So you do have another bolt there. Your Allen wrench fits right here. It is magnetic, so it just slips right in 
with magnets to hold it captive all the time so you don't lose it. Looking at the side, it does say CEM40 on the side here. And then you do have these two real nice heavy duty knobs for your dovetail. Again, with the CEM26 though, you can see that only these two parts of the dovetail uh, are what move in to attach to the clamp. So you're only attaching at two points. This whole assembly does not move. So keep that in mind that if you have a short dovetail, you might only catch one or the other of these. So just be very careful that you have these uh, tightened down properly. So, looking towards the back of the mount, that's where all your power connection is and you're also your USB 2 connection for upgrading the mount uh, firmware and also connecting to the iPolar, which is obviously integrated as well. So, this does use 5 amps, 12 volt DC. I just have it running off of a battery supply like I do in the field usually. But uh, then on the back of the dovetail, you do have some more interface where you have a USB 2 port and some 12 volt uh, DC out ports. So if you were running something like a ZWO camera or something, you could put the power cables through the back of the mount there up into the camera to power the camera. Uh, if you wanted to do something like that, you absolutely could. So this uh, six inch here is about 21 pounds or so of payload once I put a camera and everything on it. And the uh, CEM40 really handles it very nicely. I mean, just step back a little bit, you can see how it holds that telescope pretty well. It looks, it's a pretty nice looking setup. Uh, but uh, it'll hold up to 40 pounds. Ioptron does suggest uh, anything over 30 pounds or so. Uh, you should have the proper counterweights and it does, it should perform reasonably well. Of course, the golden rule with astrophotography usually is 50% of whatever your mount can handle. That's the size telescope you should have on it, which in this type of a configuration, it's right about at that 50% sweet spot. Now the hand controller that is included with the Ioptron CEM40 is their standard 8407. The only bad part about this uh, hand controller still is it still does not have USB support. It still has the old RS-232 serial. They do give you that cable, that serial adapter though in the box, which is nice. Just go to Best Buy, buy yourself a $15 little uh, adapter piece that connects to all USB ports and you're good to go. But uh, it is an eight line digital display that does have r red LED backlit uh, in there. And it also has a nice little light on the back that you can use for your star maps in the field. So that is activated by the little button on the hand controller down here. But the motors in the CEM40 are just as quiet as they were on the CEM26 in my last video. Let's see if we can uh, get it to come up on the camera here. So it's a very, very quiet mount, and a lot of people appreciate that a lot about the Ioptron products as they've been using these different uh, servo motors that are, uh, sorry, stepper motors that are uh, more energy efficient, but also they are a lot more quiet. So in the field, you're not bothering anybody, or if you're using a backyard observatory, uh, you're not really uh, making any noise out there. And that's really beneficial in a lot of ways. It makes it more peaceful and quiet, you know, when you're in the field. But overall, the Ioptron CEM40 so far is uh, quite, quite the package. And the whole mount head only weighs about 17 pounds or so. So that's, uh, that's very lightweight for a mount that can handle 40 pounds. Now, like I said, you can purchase it in a package, and in some of those packages, you can get the hard case with it, which is uh, the one I purchased. It does have the nice cutout foam. Counterweight goes here. Like I said, they do include that USB to serial adapter in the box. You can also pull down this foam, 
like on the CEM 26, and you do have a spot for your spreader tray for your tripod to go in the top, which is uh, real nice. So, the other thing I wanted to mention about the Ioptron CEM 40 is uh, Ioptron gives you, if you purchase the either the 40 or the 40 EC, which is the uh, basically the high resolution encoder version, they do give you the periodic error correction uh, chart that was measured off of your specific telescope. And uh, mine in particular, the CEM 40 periodic error correction measured by the encoder, is plus or minus three and a half arc seconds, which is pretty good resolution for a uh, consumer product. That uh, the difference though is Ioptron quotes no more than plus or minus three arc seconds if you buy the EC version. But I don't know if it's worth the extra thousand dollars if the CEM40 regular one is only really three and a half to four plus or minus arc seconds based on their guiding performance that they show here in a matter of seconds. So it's really impressive to see that uh, the resolution is that good on this product. This whole package in itself was 2250, I believe, somewhere around that neighborhood with the upgraded tripod, uh, the eye polar and the hard case was somewhere around 2250. Now that is definitely in the segment of some competing um, big mounts out there that people have had success with. Uh, I personally had the CGX before that was around similar. That was about the $2,500 mark. It provided a little bit more payload, but certainly the Ioptron provides more features and it's definitely lighter weight, easier to carry with the whole carrying case and everything for all of that same price. So this obviously rivals the Iop, uh, sorry, the Orion Atlas, um, Skywatcher, uh, EQ6. I mean, the, these are uh, all kind of in the same class of mounts out there, but so far it's uh, really a great mount and I'll be looking forward to putting it through some dark skies and uh, taking some nice images with this soon. So when I get uh, some nice images and I test out the astrophotography potential, I'll uh, be sure to do an updated video on the Ioptron CEM40. Thanks for watching everybody. Clear skies.